Hello, so if you're watching this video, you probably want to add additional sidebars to your storefront uh, theme for WooCommerce. So storefront is uh, a very minimalistic theme, and I like using those because they come with a lot less bloat, but that means that we have some customization to do. Um, so, for example, it's shipped with only one sidebar to edit, and that's not really... I, I like to have multiple sidebars um, based on the content that I'm displaying. So, um, for example, well, storefront is their basic theme. So, on the WooCommerce site, you can also download the storefront child theme master. So this is just another basic theme that uh, really doesn't come with any of these override files. It has a few files in here, but ultimately it's just to allow you to override um, the storefront theme. So I want to add some sidebars. So I look at the storefront theme. They have a sidebar. I copy that. Just copy this PHP file and paste it into my uh, child theme and then put a dash sidebar 2 and then uh, I change this to sidebar 2, sidebar 2 here and then in my functions file this theme comes with a nice functions file, PHP file ready for you to add your own PHP Two, um, it comes with all of this code already here. It dequeues a couple of styles so you can override those. And what I do is I add this. I'll add this code into the description below the video, but just add an action of widgets in it. And I register Matt's sidebars. So uh, then I create the function register Matt's sidebars, register sidebar. ID of sidebar 2 and again I'll add this information you can change this information if you don't want your title to be an H4 maybe you just want to span or I think storefront even adds a class of gamma here and I think that just that's just to make it a block I think that's just makes it a block they give it a style of uh, a block um, for their uh, widgets but uh, anyway, so I register the sidebar, and you can register multiple sidebars. Just copy it, and then uh, paste it below here. And then, of course, with each one, you'll have to name it, uh, copy it, and name it uh, sidebar three or sidebar whatever you want to name it there. And um, they'll all be registered here, and then they'll have their own uh, functionality here. So what I wanted to do was override um, my blog because we have normal pages and with the sidebar, as I said, storefront comes shipped with one sidebar and you know you could add widgets ad nauseum, but you don't want all of these widgets showing for every page where they may not be relevant. So for example, in your blog page, which I've called articles for this one, we'll be writing some articles um, for this company. Um, it's a blog page, so I want to have its own sidebar with, you know, uh, article navigation or blog navigation and other things relevant to the blog. So we want it on the archives page, we want it on the single post page. <clears throat> Computer's running a little bit slow here. We want it on the, you know, for example, your category page. So you, everything related to the blog, we want to have this sidebar too. So I even purchased the power pack, still just one sidebar. Um, but uh, anyway, let's see here. So if you just look at the widgets on a normal page with what storefront is shipped with, you'll see your sidebar that you get. And you can add widgets to your sidebar there. You can go to the back end of uh, the administration end of, of uh, WordPress and add widgets to your sidebar there. Um, but after you register your new sidebar, you can do that on the back end as well. Or when you click on a page that you've overridden, 
um, you'll now see <coughs> your new sidebar two that you created or whatever sidebar that you wanted. And you can add your widgets there. So uh, what I've done, uh, storefronts actually nicely commented. So you can see like in your single.php, the template for displaying all single posts. Okay, well I want my sidebar on that. So what I did is I just copied this single, placed it into my child theme, single.php, and then I can comment out there, get their regular sidebar, and then I'll just get my sidebar, sidebar two, that I've registered and created the uh, sidebar PHP file for. And then also for the archives and the template for displaying the archive pages, commented out, put my sidebar in. And the fallback page, the main template file, I put it in there as well. Um, you may have to do some testing, uh, making sure the sidebar is showing on which pages that you want it to show on. But uh, as I mentioned, <coughs> Storefront is pretty good with commenting their pages and what they're for. So um, for in my case, I just did the archive, uh, the index, and the single. And that pretty much gave me the sidebar where I needed it for the blog pages. So that's how to... Register your sidebar or a new sidebar for the storefront theme. Um, I was looking because actually they have the, the default for their sidebars on the right and there's no option to just make it go to the left. Uh, in their documentation it says that uh, there's a layout tab uh, where you can make that happen. I found a layout tab in the power pack but uh, it just has the page layout and content frame. So uh, maybe there is that option. I just started playing around with storefront, but uh, what I did in, in the interim is you can either add, like I said, well, in your uh, child theme, you can override the style. So you can just add your styles here. Or uh, what I did was they do have a place for additional CSS. So I just put uh, right sidebar, dot right sidebar, the classes, of a uh, right sidebar content area and I just floated it to the right and that pulled my sidebars to the left so you know you can play around with your CSS to move your sidebars even if they don't have that simple functionality here um, <clears throat> for your sidebars so hopefully this helps you with uh, learning how to register new sidebars for your storefront theme